Okay, I'm gonna do a video vlog here about a topic that will probably lose me some friends, maybe make me some friends. Uh, uh, that hurt. My gum hurts from where I got hit the other day, and it just really hurts. But anyway, might make some friends, might lose some friends. But frankly, I don't give a flying fuck because I just, and you know what? I used to try not to talk about things like this because I was trying to be like the French, I guess. I don't know. You know, stay neutral. But a lot of people have asked me. You know, I know people that have been in situations that this topic can affect. And this topic is abortion, whether or not you're pro-choice. A lot of people ask me, what's your take? What's your take? What's your take? And uh, I think that ultimately it's the woman's choice. And I say this because, you know what? It's not my body. Okay, if I get a girl pregnant and she decides she wants to keep it, I think that, you know, I think I should have some input, but it's not my choice. It's not my body. Okay, now this is what I do think, though. I don't think it should be used as a form of birth control. Okay, I think that, you know, it should be something that women should be way more educated on. I think that, actually, I think we need to start way back in elementary school. Okay. For one, schools don't teach sex, sex education. Schools teach no sex education. And that is the fucking root of all the problems. Right there. Because here's the problem. They teach kids, don't have sex is bad. Don't have sex is bad. Don't wait till you get married. Wait till you get married. They don't teach them about condoms. They don't teach them about birth control. They don't teach them about responsible sex. Okay, so they go to middle school and, uh, you know, high school. And what do they do? They have sex, but they have no training, no education, other than what they get from TV, which is actually quite a bit nowadays. All right. Excuse me. But here's, here's the problem. Okay. If they were properly educated, they wouldn't probably get pregnant in the first place. If they learned from a very, from, from, from the get-go that... Sex is not an evil thing, but it shouldn't be something you should do very lightly, you know? It's kind of like you tell a kid they can't have liquor, what do they do? They get liquor. How many high school kids do you know that haven't been drunk? Why? Because they can. Because you tell them not to, so that's exactly what they're going to do. You think sex is any different? Come on. Okay, we all know everyone wants to have sex all through high school until you have sex and even after sex, after you're married, for the rest of your fucking lives, you pretty much think about sex. At least if you're a guy. Okay, I can't speak for women because I'm not one. But I know women think about sex and they enjoy it or we wouldn't be having it. Okay, it's just the way it works. And so... You get these girls get pregnant, okay? They get scared. They don't know what to do because they've never been taught this stuff. They don't know all their options. You know, they're just scared, okay? So they go get an abortion, okay? I think that if you legalize, you make abortions completely illegal, that they're going to find a way to make it happen, okay? Whether it's in some back alley by some doctor that's been discredited and lost his license and is using a fucking coat hanger, if a girl wants an abortion bad enough, she will get it. And by God, I'd much rather see her get it in a hospital or a doctor's office, somewhere with trained physicians that can keep an eye on her, make sure she's safe. Sounds better to me. And, you know, but if a girl decides to go in and do this, she should be given every possible option. You know, look, you can give it up for adoption. Uh, you know, you can have it. And... You know, maybe you'll, you'll want to keep it, give it some time. Uh, you know, if, if they come in and they're like, look, I'm pregnant. And they're like, look, you got three, four weeks left to make up your mind. Please, here's some literature. Come back in a week or come back in two weeks and we'll do it then. But please look at this stuff. You know, maybe that'll, something will change. Maybe they'll change their mind. Maybe they'll have a, a second thought process or something. But... Uh, you know, they just probably don't realize they're scared. You know what? And it's because they're scared of their, what their parents are going to think, what their friends are going to think. You know what? People need to quit fucking worrying about what everybody else thinks and think what's best for you. 
what's best for your baby that you're carrying. Okay? Yeah, it sucks. If, you know, who knows? If someone, get, a lady gets an abortion, who knows what that baby might have turned out to be. Yeah, it might have turned out to be the best thing in your life, and it might have turned out to be Jeffrey Dahmer. Who the hell knows? I don't know. You don't know. Only God knows. Okay? And I'm not going to, also another thing, I'm not going for one second going to pretend that I, that me, am going to decide when life is and when life isn't. That's God's decision, okay? If uh, that's between God and the person getting the abortion, okay? Let God deal with these people. Just quit, you know, I hate fanatics. You got people that are fanatics about abortion both ways, you know? It's like... I think there's other things we need to worry about in life. You know? I understand your opinion. Excuse me. There are people who who are, you know, against abortion, and they go out there, and they try to teach people, and they do it in a nonviolent way. And I've been by places, because we've got abortion clinics here. It's, it's been a while since I've been by one, but I, I've seen them, like, throwing stuff at the girls coming in. Okay? And mind you, my cousin went one time to the, the, the clinic not to get an abortion, but just to get some tests or something, some vitamins, people were throwing shit at her because they thought she was getting an abortion. And that's a fanatic, and that's what's wrong with you people. Okay, that's the stuff that needs to stop. You need to educate, not try violence. Okay, and scaring people. Because you cannot scare people to do what you want. Okay, you have to educate them and use reason and some sort of thought processes that doesn't involve scaring the shit out of someone or frightening them, okay? It just don't work that way. I don't even really know if this is making any sense because I'm just kind of rattling shit off. But, um, yeah, ultimately, I think it's a woman's choice. And, yes, I do think if a woman is raped, okay, and she does, and she gets pregnant and she doesn't have it, I do not think she should be forced to have that child. I don't think she should be forced. And you can be like, oh, this and oh, that and all that. But the truth of the matter is it ain't your body. It ain't my body, it's her body. And that decision, whatever she decides, is between her and God. Right, if she's doing something wrong, then God will deal with her, okay? There's too many people dying every day, okay? There's homeless people dying, and I don't see you out there bitching about the homeless people dying. And I see people out there that kids are starving. I don't see you bitching about the kids that are starving. You're worried about kids that aren't even kids yet. You're worried about kids that might grow up to be kids. You don't know. Maybe she has difficulties or she has a stillborn baby. Who knows what could happen? You know, these, these are uncertainties. There's too many certain things in the world we need to worry about for my opinion. You know, I'm sorry, but that's just my opinion and what I think. If you don't like it and you think I'm a dick and you don't ever want to talk to me again and you want to delete me off of YouTube because of that, you know what? Fuck you too. That's what I think. So, because I'm, I'm tired of hearing all this stuff, man. You hear about stuff here, you hear about stuff there. I get people sending me shit all the time about this and they want to know my opinion. They're like, please come to my page and make a stance. Well, no, okay, fine. You want to make a stance? That's what I'm doing right here, right now. Alright? I think it's up to every individual person to make up their own mind because they're a person. Okay? It's their decision. It's their life. It's their life to fuck up, not mine. Okay? And I'm not going to for a second treat another human being like crap if they decide to do it. Because you know what? If it is wrong, people make mistakes. They do. And then they move on. And who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? I've done some fucked up things in my life. And people think I'm fine. Some don't think I'm fine. The point is, I've done some screwed up things. And I've made it right with God, I think. And... That's between God and them. Not you. Don't play God. Don't act like you speak for God. Okay? God is all perfect. God will speak for himself. Okay? So, anyway. That's it. Bye.